I require all my guests to use the bathroom outside. Hi, my name is Ivy Bloom, and this is my outdoor potty area. I used to let my friends use the bathroom in my house, but I've since learned how unsanitary that is. Before entering the potty area, I require guests to put on these foot covers, and first-timers are required to read the rules. The most important rule is to dig at least six inches from an existing stick, because that's where another guest has dug a hole. It's pretty simple. You just dig a hole, do what you have to do, and put your toilet paper on top. I provide seeds that must be placed inside to keep my garden growing, and once that's placed inside, you cover it up with the dirt you dug up, and then place some leaves on top. The last thing you have to do is mark the spot with one of these sticks. I do live in Arizona, and it gets really hot, so I provide a bucket with refreshments Yo, and wait, snacks that on, visitors time can time time on. Time time on. Time on, 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 time on. It's a lot of sticks out there. While using the bathroom. And yes, there is a privacy curtain. Once that's done, they can take the covers off their feet and wash them in this bucket. Then they have to place them in this jar so that the next guest can use them. Once my guest is done using the bathroom, I require them to sign this journal. And I do respectfully ask for tips because maintaining this area can get a little expensive. Tips? I require all my guests. I've seen a lot of crazy shit on the internet, but I don't know. This, this, this might, this might take the award. I'm not going to act all high and mighty. I'm Grenadian. And when I lived in Grenada, you might have to take a shit in the bushes. I'm not going to act like I ain't never took a doodle -doo in the bushes. The one thing I can say, at least she providing toilet paper. Back in them days, we was using leaves. But at the same time, the level of disrespect I would feel knowing that you have a whole toilet and you asking me to go take a dookie outside. Amongst other dookies, you got to measure it and you got to take a dookie six inches away from somebody else took a dookie. Oh, no, nah, I feel some type of way. You need help? I can help you take them out. Take what out? What else? The groceries in the trunk. What are we taking them out for? Because I just bought you groceries because you said you were hungry. And right. you wanted me to send you money, but I just went out my way to be a good man I for wanted you. money for Chick-fil-A. I didn't want all that other shit. Okay, you got Wait, what? groceries. That's going to last you... This week and next week, Chick Fil A is gonna last you today. Right, and I want to eat today. Okay, you can go and cook. I don't want to. I just went to go spend two hundred and fifty dollars in H E B for you. I didn't ask for that. I asked for a twelve. You rather you rather Chick Fil A than groceries? Yes, that's what I want right now. You're fried. Yo, son, you know what this remind me of? I don't know if any of y'all have ever been in a situation where a homeless person asked you for money, but. You use your better judgment and gave them food instead. And then they stand there looking at you dumbfounded and ungrateful. I've been in that situation plenty of times. There's a lot of homeless people in Atlanta. You got to be careful with giving them folks money. Because if you know, you know. They're not going to buy food with that. They're going... <clears throat> That's crazy. You. She sound like an ungrateful bum. No, you're fried. No, you're fried. Your priorities are fried. You're supposed to be grateful for something I did not ask for. That's wait, 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 wait. You sound real. Well, I'm not taking you nowhere. No, I'm not getting out. Get your feet off of my get your feet off of my dashboard. Like what's going oh, on? Don't do that to the camera, baby. Much. You know you come. You're nagging. Like, I just I'm went not nagging. No, I didn't even want you to pull up. I said send me the money for the food. You, think, like, you decided to get, come be captain you, say hello and take me to H E B. I didn't want that. Every time I send you money, you use it for something else. She you called him that, Captain you want that money Chick -fil -A for something else. Twelve dollars and fifty cents. Okay, and I spent two hundred and fifty dollars in H E B. Go Ooh. cook. I could have bought that for myself and my kids. Then you should have. Oh, oh my god. god. So why you don't want it? You being real ungrateful. Okay, take the groceries to your house. You can take me to Chick fil A and. You need help? I can help you take them out. Nah, I can't front. This better be a skit because the level of ungratefulness coming from that young lady. But at the same time, this reflects real life. It's people out here that you would do more for them than you need to. But because it's not what they want, they'll sit there and be ungrateful. Start filming. Start filming. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, Michelle! What the fuck? Oh my god! Get up!
I need more context. I know how it looks because they started filming and you see her run into their car, but her car was already messed up prior to that. I want to know what happened. What led up to that? Oh. I feel as though I've so seen this you. video before. To do what? Whatever you want to do. Feel free. Fly like a bird and spin it. Mm -hmm. Never. Yes. Why? You said you wanted to go to the mall, so whenever you go, enjoy it. For real? Yes. I'm going to take you on a date. You going to take me on a date? Yeah. Let's go on a date. <laughs> Baby, it's for you to spend on you. All right, so I'm going to spend it on us. Mm. Right, cool. Let's go. We're going to go on a date. Where you want to go? No, you take Where me. you want to go? I'll take you where you want to go. Hey. I'll take you on a date. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't know if I reacted to this before. I feel as though I reacted to this before. But get you a woman like that. But at the same time, I, I feel as though my boy, he hitting the bottom. He hitting the bottom. <laughs> He putting it down. Don't sleep. If you give your woman money and she want to spend that money back on you, who are you putting it down? You doing something right. Go ahead and clap it up for that brother. He put her in the figure eight, pretzels. He doing all types of things in that bedroom. This man was in prison for seven years. We met four weeks ago, got married, moved in together, and we have a kid on the way just in four weeks. Am I stupid or am I? Like, well, y'all figured that out. Let me just tell y'all what we did today because today was an amazing day. We got in the car, and if y'all don't know, he raps, he sings, he does. Wait, hold on, folks. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did she say this man was in jail for seven years? They met four weeks ago, and already they have a baby on the way? Is that what I just heard? Baby, where's your brothers? Where's your father? Where are your friends? Matter of fact, you know what? Nah. Don't hit the player, hit the game. Oh, let me let me just add in a snippet. I use my tongue and she humming and running. I'm all in the stomach, she coming for sure. I'm in love with the low. Facing the pillow, I eat it and beat it. The look in the rise mm -hmm. when I'm sucking the toe. I'm not just ready to be turned. My man, my man, my man. Mm -mm. And then we went to the doctor's office because he had to do a little checkup. He's incarcerated for seven years. So we had to go do a little checkup. Then we headed over to the library with this nerd. You know, he's incarcerated again. So all he did was basically read books. I, like books. I didn't really know what to get. I was honestly ready to go. But then I seen this Colleen Hoover book that is just so good. Well, I don't know if it's good, but I've seen people read it. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. This is me just looking pretty. I got my purse from TikTok shop. My whole, at this point, my whole wardrobe was from TikTok shop. TikTok gonna eat every time. Then we headed over to Angry Bird or Angry Shake Shack, whatever. It was seafood. It's not better than hot and juicy. Bomb. It was bomb as fuck. It's not better than hot and juicy, though. But yeah, that gumbo was definitely 10 out of 10 and then after we headed to god damn shorty she talked like a run-on sentence <laughs> i'm trying to pick up what she's saying but she just going jesus trader joe's and dollar tree got some things to the house because we just moved i got in a test like tesla is just my dream car like i just can't make it up every time i see one i just like i gotta have it i gotta have it they're Open some pa they are that cool. We got home and I attempted to do the pill and stick and I'm so disappointed because not only did it look ugly tacky, yeah. I fucking hate these marble counters. They're so ugly. It just gives dirty. Like you never know what's really on them because they're marble and I hate that for me. After this, I was truly disappointed, so I had to have a snack, which is what I got from Trader Joe's. It was just some spinach dip and these pita breads and these tackies, which I love. Do y'all see that back tack though? She gonna eat every time and I'm trying to get tatted this year. But that's really the end of the vlog. If you guys want to see more vlogs you guys have to follow our couples page because there will no longer be any more tiktoks on this account bye love you all right so after seeing this video i went to her page because i suspected that she might be ugly i'm gonna be honest with you and she's not <laughs> she's very attractive i just don't don't hate the play i hate the game this reminds me of when i was in college and the girls I went to school with used to have random dudes sleeping with them in the dorm room. A lot of these dudes was fresh out of jail. Some of them moved from where, whatever state they were from. And they were chasing the dream of, of becoming rappers and stuff like that in Atlanta. They didn't have no place to stay. So they would find a random chick that went to the Art Institute of Atlanta. Or went to Clark Atlanta that stayed in our dorms. And be shacking up. Hearing the first part of this whole story, that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> no, put that mother. <laughs>
Oh, he's out of here. Oh! Man's closed the door! <laughs> He closed the door on him, dog. That's foul. I'm going to tell you something y'all didn't notice. <laughs> y'all didn't notice that old girl with the dog had the games. I don't even know if y'all could peep that. Old girl with the dog had the games. I peeped that ASAP. But what I would say, you people that own dogs... You need to understand that everybody ain't as comfortable with your dog as you are. Some of y'all think y'all speak dog. You don't speak dog. Okay? That whole, oh, he's friendly. It, she knew that dog wasn't friendly. It had a muzzle on it. So she knew what type of time it was. She couldn't even control the dog. That's another thing. Don't have a dog that you're not strong enough to control. I'm telling y'all people right now, boy. Sometimes I be at people's house, and they be having their dog come and jump on you and all that. Like, get your motherfucking dog off me, son. Get your dog off me. What the hell going on? It's noodles. Huh? It's noodles. You want noodles? Mm-hmm. Can you eat it off of me, please? All right, come say hi. Just some, some say hi so I can hit, hit the noodles up. Say hi. Hi. Okay, let's go. You made the noodles? No, I made them with ketchup. And you put ke you made it with ketchup? Mm -hmm. Let me see. It, you know, it's not supposed to be ketchup and noodles. It, it's um marinara sauce, marinara sauce. sauce. Like ragu and stuff like. Don't they got rag? Don't they got pasta sauce up there? Like. Mommy bought. You use what mommy bought, huh? Mm -hmm. I said. Okay, big guy. This man put. Okay, you want that? This man put ketchup in the noodles. Ketchup. I'm gonna go buy the man some Chick Fil A because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go buy some Chick Fil A. Let's go. Time to go to Chick Fil A. So we're gonna take that one. Now nah, we're gonna take the we're gonna take the other one. That one. Yeah, we're gonna take this one. Ah. I wasn't planning on taking this impromptu trip to Chick Fil A, but I'm kind of glad Baby Boy came downstairs. Baby Boy, say what's up. What's up? <laughs> I'm kind of glad he came downstairs. I've been in the crib all day just working and my freaking back hurt So this this is low-key me stretching my back But I do want to say man. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys. We have 74,000 100 K is next. None of this would not be possible without y'all Crazy thing though. I do want to talk about something is I'm between a rock and a hard place <sighs> last week my supervisor gave us some interesting news. He said that we're going to be on rotating shifts. So one month we're going to be working days. The next month we're going to be working nights. And, I'm <laughs> and that has put me in a difficult situation. And the reason why it's a difficult situation is because I feel as though it might get in the way of recording videos. Not to give out too much information but I make more doing YouTube than I make at my job the one thing I could say at my job is that you know I have insurance for my family and um, I'm planning on buying a house and there's certain things that you have to do as adults that when you have a steady income um, it helps so I'm a little confused on what to do you know I have a tendency to self-sabotage I can admit that I have a tendency to self-sabotage you know I have this thing where I feel as though I owe people and I put myself in positions where people can take advantage of me because I feel as though I owe them you know what I'm saying like I don't walk around with that mentality like I deserve that even though 
deep down I know everything good that's coming to me I deserve. I've never been a foul person. I've never done anybody nothing wrong in a sense. You know, I'm, I'm not going to act like when I was younger I wasn't a, a knucklehead. Any and everybody who I come across, I've tried to help them and I think that's my problem. I'm always trying to save people and I always feel as though I can help people and sometimes, you know, that's none of my business. Uh, RJ? <laughs> How can you get started, Russ? Uh, let me get a large fry. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a meal. Let me get a number three. A what? A number three. Meal? Yeah. Eight or twelve? Um, eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me get a uh, Arnold Palmer. Good, big guy. You want what? You want what? You want what? I said the big nuggets. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to get the nuggets. I got you. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Is that car faster than your car? What, that car? You got the Boy, stop. Why would that car be faster than mine? Are you crazy? Do you feel all the... You hear that? You feel that? What's wrong with you, boy? She can't drive. She can't drive with a lick. It was 12, boy. 12 almost saw the camera, y'all. Why would you do that? So I'm really trying to figure out if I should start doing YouTube full time. <laughs> That's my dilemma, y'all. Should I start doing YouTube full time? Now, don't sleep. I've been doing the reaction videos, but don't sleep. If I start doing YouTube full time, I'm gonna start a whole nother channel and I'll start vlogging. You feel what I'm saying? And I was thinking about it before, but I do feel as though since I don't have the, the time to really go out here and, and have all these adventures, you know, I'll be wasting y'all time. That's why I just start another vlog. That's why I just start another channel. But if I start doing YouTube full time, bro, it's so much shit I could do out here. You know what I'm saying? It's so much more things I could talk about, especially since majority of my content be about relationship and I'm a whole married man with a, a family and all that. It's so much different things that I could show y'all, so much different angles I could hit y'all with. <sighs> what y'all think, man? Do you feel as though I should become a full-time content creator? Whoa. Is he the boys? Shoot. Is he the boy? I know he got the sirens, but is he the boys? Like, should we be stopping for him? You know what I'm saying? All he about to do is go change somebody's tire. Right? Am I tripping? Oh, he... Wait, wait, wait. He can do that? Somebody inform me. Can he do that? Can he do that? Because all he about to do is go change somebody's tires. It's not an emergency. Am I tripping? Oh, basket. That's basket. That's basket. Yeah, that's basket. Let's go. Put the ball down. We out. Put the ball down. Put the ball down, bro. That ain't your ball. First off, yeah, put, the, put that joint down. That's a, that's a Wilson. We don't... This a rubber ball. You don't play with this, okay? Come on, let's go. We out. You must want to play basketball. Okay.